Have a good day, Mom. Sure. Do you want me to bring you back something from work? If they have uh, meatloaf. I'll surprise you. Hey, I'm supposed to get the letter in the mail from the vet tech program today. Why do you bother with that? I mean, I told you the best thing you could do would be to get yourself a good man who'll support you. So he'll leave me like Dad left you, penniless and pregnant? The bastard is dead. And for your sake, consider yourself lucky that he's dead. Beer for breakfast, huh? If you don't like it, move out. I'm sorry, Mom. I'll bring you back something from work. Excuse me. This yours? Yes! Where did you find it? It's between the seats. Thank you. Let me give you a tip. No, that's all right. No, please. It's all right. I'm just glad you didn't lose it. Have a good day. Hi. The Board of Trustees are reviewing everyone now. Can I be honest with you, John? Of course. You're the only professor who's been here 10 years that hasn't brought in a grant. Now, the Cooper Ascot Foundation is accepting proposals for controlled variable human interaction experiments focusing on conflict resolution. I'm quite familiar with their guidelines. Now, what if I conducted my own experiment funded by a private undisclosed grant? Well, obviously, you'd need the approval of the board. But I've been considering for some time now a human interaction experiment involving authority. Go on. By placing a gender cross-section in an isolated environment somewhere remote, like the Pineville Mountains, where external circumstances require compliance to one central authority figure. What do you think? You complete your proposal and I'll make sure that the board gives it their full attention. Sterling. Uh, I won't be able to attend your fundraiser today. John! John, you're far too kind, but I can't accept this. It's $12,000. It's the least I can do, Sterling. You've been a great supporter of mine and a true friend. Well, what can I say? I'm not even sure there's words. That... It's better to give than to receive. Thank you, John. My pleasure. Thank you. the moon on the 24th day. By the light of the moon on the 24th day, I give to you the blood of the lamb and the feathers of fowl. By the light of the moon on the 24th day, I give to you the blood of the lamb and the feathers of fowl. By the light of the moon on the 24th day, I give to you the blood of the lamb and the feathers of fowl. I will not let your service be in vain as I call upon you. By the light of the moon on the 24th day, I give to you the blood of the lamb and the feathers of fowl. I will not let your service be in vain as I call upon you. By the light of the moon on the 24th day, I honor you, moon god! I will not let your service be in vain as I lay thee down to die on the 24th cave, Jihad! Kit, 
check out this ad. Twin Falls Professor of Sociology seeks human participants for a 10-day interaction study. Substantial compensation if accepted. Sounds good, huh? Who would ever choose us? Hey, sometimes these things pay good money. Maybe I could get these enhanced. <laughs> now, why would you want to go and mess with what Mother Nature gave you? Guys like big boobs. So? I like guys. Order! Go. <laughs> And you shouldn't laugh about it because because she's uh, she thinks she's better than everyone else. Does she and, uh, yes, she does. What does she do? Well, she gossips and makes up a lot, and she has a dog that doesn't smell right. Oh, really? you guys yes. get over here. I need anything else? Oh. Everything's fine. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, where are you from? I'm from uh, Central California, right near Refresno. It's about the challenge and the personal enrichment. No, I've done LSD and a few other drugs. To tell you the truth, I'd much rather do this. Oh, yeah, I, I resented my father for quite a while. Evolution's great. You just have to follow it. That's the only problem. I became a comedian because I'm just, well, I don't want to, fuck it. Uh, I'm just really, really naturally funny. Grew up down south and kind of just worked my way up into the business. I lost my virginity when I was 12. You got to find what you're good at and just get it. You know what I mean? Take it. I'm used to being told what to do. You know, you get out a lot every once in a while. You got to get your ass whooped. I take orders. I follow direction. I see. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of a hard issue to talk about. Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs study. That, not that I'm com putting myself in that category or anything. I actually just lost a gig the other day. Three gigs. I have been studying people since I was eight years old. Everyone tells me what to do. All the time. It was just a kind of like your, your miscommunication, you know. I called him and then he didn't call me back and I'd have messages and, and I called him again and... I'm not in a relationship right now. I... I hope I can find somebody. I mean, is it easy? No. You know, am I good at it? Yes. Well, yeah, I need the money. It'd be excellent. For me, this isn't really about the money. I think the money uh, would be pretty helpful as well, so... I thought it was an opportunity for me to make some extra money. Fantastic, we'll let you know. Yeah, yeah, heard that before. We're done with you. Oh, okay, all right, thanks. This is really far. I know, isn't it great? have arrived. Now it is understood you cannot leave since you've all agreed not to in the contracts you've signed. Yeah, like we'd be able to leave if we wanted to, man. It's cold out here. Does anyone live nearby? No, we're on our own, kids. Is it safe here? I brought a handgun for our protection. I hate guns. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. I suppose you would want to protect us with your bare hands. Back off, Jose. Uh-uh, it's Carlos. Calvin. Check your cell phones. Check all persons, all bags. We got it. Like a body search? You all signed an agreement for no outside communication. I expect you all to live up to it, OK? Well, what if we need to make a phone call in the event of an emergency? For medical emergencies only. Got it covered. Beautiful. Let's get our gear. We've got a long hike ahead of us. Let's do it. Oh. 
Woo. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm good. Thanks. Here's your crossbow, pal. Right on. Nice. I'd like to speak to all of you. Go ahead, go ahead. Find a place to get comfortable, if there is such a thing. Uh-uh. Okay. Okay. This is a sociological study. I'm preparing an article for publication documenting my observations. I will ask you all to perform certain tasks. All of us will get our hands dirty. However, safety is first and foremost. This is a considerable project by any standards. Okay? All right, any final questions? Yes, Carlos. What time do we eat? <laughs> I have provisions enough for one night and one night only. Starting tomorrow, we live off the land. We get our food from the land. Okay, any other questions? Yes, baby. I'm a vegetarian, <laughs> so what am I supposed to eat? Well, surely you brought enough granola for the little tree, hugger. Shut up. <laughs> I have a limited supply of canned foods and goods. Any other special needs? I'm fine. Okay. Pitch your tents before dark. I'll be up at the hunter shed if you need me. Here we go. That looks good. <laughs> that looks good. No. God, these idiots don't realize that this plastic doesn't decompose. Maybe it was here from before. Don't make excuses for them. Subjects are experiencing an anticipated level of disorientation. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so let me get this straight, homeboy. Yo, you're a pagan, right? It's not what you think. Oh, I'm sure it isn't. Nightfall has arrived. The subject have built a fire. Personality and behavioral traits and characteristics are being defined. Hey, Carlos, what line huh? of work you in? I am a comedian. <laughs> Did you not get enough attention as a child? You know what? F you, devil dick. Sounds like you're the one who needs to get. Do I have to kick your ass? Yo, yo, guys. Because I will. Hey, I got hey, no problem doing it. Guys, 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 it's cool. Have a seat. It's good. You wipe that smirk off his face. Tell him to shut the f up. I have an idea. How about the two of you stop measuring your tiny dicks for a moment and let's play truth poker? Mm -hmm. What is that? It's three card poker. Only the winner gets to ask any question they want and the rest of us have to answer it. Wow. Tree hugger by day, card shark by night. I don't know how to play. It's easy. I'll explain as we go. You gotta take a leak. Okay. your problem. I'm just having some fun, man. You are an idiot. Sure, but you're about to piss your pants all over again, buddy. You're a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> Mask. Sure, man, I was just having some fun. A typical alpha male conflict has begun between Stephen and Carlos. It's me. Yes. Yeah. Did you know the more drugs you use, the worse the mind Guys, works. let's play cards. All right. Yeah, so the mind just stops from you. Just seeing it scared the shit out of this kid. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. All right. What's everyone got? Mm -hmm. No good? 
No good, no good, no I good. I have aces. All right, you're the winner. Um, no. What do I do? Ask a question. Any question? The more personal, the better. Ow. I, something just bit me. Welcome to the wild. No, it, it really hurts. Let me have a look. Nah, you know what? It looks like a wolf spider bite. It'll itch, but it's not poisonous. Oof, really? Yeah. I have a really good question. What is your worst nightmare? Not a, not a dream, but your worst fear. Kitty, you, you start. I think to be buried alive. Ooh. That's good. Yeah. That good. I think uh, mine would be to be a stand-up comedian. <laughs> That's real funny. Uh, <laughs> mine would be to like, remember in the old west they just hang you and they leave you out there and you die all alone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, my worst fear uh, would be to completely bomb in my act. <laughs> I mean, like not even a, like not even that, not even a laugh, nothing, nothing. Yeah, that never happens. Um, mine would be to have someone choke me to death. Yeah, it's bad. my worst fear is happening already. What's that? To have our planet destroyed by man. Oh, God. It has to be personal. I think that's about as personal as it gets. Oh, let's play again. No fighting. <laughs> play you. nice. Play nice. Oh, yeah, you probably need these. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to turn in. I'll see everyone in the morning. Night. Night. Oh, man. Night. Anyone want to take a walk with me? I do. Wow, I'm really hurt. I think it's getting worse. Well, you know, I grew up around farmland. There's a lot of spider bites out there. Yeah, you know, uh, tree sap will work as a natural astringent. Really? Yeah. Come on, let's go get some. Come on. Oh, bye. Bye. All right. Priscilla has been bitten by a spider and has become psychosomatic. Oh, I'm not tired yet. <laughs> this is too warm. What are you going to do with your money? I haven't really thought about it. That's good. OK, uh, when are we going to that hunter shed? If you insist. Yeah. This is not a bad little shed we got here, huh? Yeah, you want to take your jacket off there. <clears throat> okay. All right. Uh, you might... Okay, I got to put this sap on your arm. There it is. So you might want to take off your top. Excuse me? Well, no, I don't want any sap getting on your clothes or nothing, you know? Trust me. I got it. I'm not... I'm, I'm, I'm a nice guy. Come you on. only live once, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm God. Are you just trying to get me alone? <sighs> no. No. I swear. Um, that's too bad. Okay, uh, trust me, this will help out. Uh, you gotta, you gotta. And, uh, you know, I don't think this is such a good idea. Yeah, come on. We both know you're lying about that. I've seen the way you've been looking at me. You want it just like I do.
tell us exactly what happened with you two. I told you already. This is not an interrogation. Well, it sure feels like one, Professor. What'd you do to her? Nothing. Okay, we had a disagreement, and she said she wanted to take the van home. I don't believe you. Well, screw you. Oh! Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. I Stay calm. Stay, calm. Stay, calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Sarah, you need to apologize. Why? Sarah, apologize. Sorry. Thank you. What the hell is wrong with you? Look, I said I'm sorry, all right? You just can't go around throwing coffee at people. Let's go check the van. Maybe she uh, spent the night there. Uh, huh? Good idea. Uh -uh. She took the truck? No, that's not selfish. We're stranded. Dude, why didn't you stop her? I didn't think she'd actually go. I mean, I, I don't, how, how did she even find her way out of here? How, how'd she get the keys? I think she went into my bag. Thanks a lot, Carlos. It's not my fault. OK. I'm going to go back to Hunter's cabin. I'm going to get the cell phone. I'll see you guys back at camp. Stop looking. It's not my fault. She probably just went to get help. OK, how are we going to get back? Come on. I get no signal. I get no reception. There's no reception, guys. Nothing. I want to go home today, guys. Well, let me remind you that if you do leave, you're not going to get paid. But, darling, it's not safe to travel by foot, and it's almost 19 miles to the nearest traveled road. Well, Kitty, stay. It's fine. I don't know. Boob job. Stop it. We should be focusing on what we're going to find for dinner, right? We should hunt. Calvin, take your crossbow. Go hunting. I'm on it. Cool. Steven, great fire you built us. We gotta keep it going. Get more wood. Okay. I'll also help in a few minutes. Are you on the What about me? Carlos, I need you to dig the latrine. Why does the Mexican have to dig the latrine? <laughs> it's not because you're Mexican, it's because you're buff. The ground is hard. Will you do it for us? I can't. Thanks, pal. Oh, God. Okay. Sarah, what are we going to do for another nine days? <laughs> are you kidding me? We're basically getting paid $1,000 a day to be in nature. This is wonderful. Yeah, but it's so boring. <laughs> wow. You know the saying. If you're bored, it means you're boring. Kitty, I'm kidding. It's not a very nice thing to say. Oh, kitty cat, I'm sorry. I meant it to be a joke. It was a joke. You know I love you. I guess, yeah. <laughs> I guess it is kind of funny. What do you think we're going to eat tonight? Hmm. Pine cone soup. Ew.
This is good. Well, I'm going to take a walk. I think you can finish up? Guess so. Thank you. Whoa! You killed Bambi? We gotta eat. Hey man, we could always just eat beaver. You had to go there, didn't you, Carlito? Have you drained the blood? No. Can I have it? Fine with me. Why do you want the blood? We have to drain the blood immediately. You can't have the blood. Who put you in charge? This... Mia? How long will it take to cook? I don't know. About three hours if we cut it up. Calvin, help Mia. You got it. No, we have to drain the blood. Steven, you can't have the blood, OK? What do you care? Oh, come on, get out of here. Ladies, we're going to do this again? I can't believe we're going to eat that. Haven't you ever been camping before? Yeah, but not like this. You see these? Canines. We're meant to eat freshly killed meat. Poor little baby doesn't want to eat little Bambi. So funny. Yeah, he's up on her pal. Who are you calling pal? Deer killer? Don't pick on her. You're going to have a problem with me. Oh, boy. Big macho man has me scared. Carlos, cut it out. 
Hey, where do you guys think Sarah is? She's a vegetarian. Maybe she's out hunting tofu. That is so funny. Shut up, Carlos. Well, don't catch a tune with me now. You know what? Nobody's worried about her. I, I'm gonna go look for her. I'll go with you. Keep turning on the spit, Mia. Just give it a turn every couple of minutes. Kitty, it's a good idea that you and Calvin go look for her. Thanks, Calvin. I don't know why Sarah would just run off like this. It's not like her. I'm sure she's all right. Yeah, but what does one do in the middle of nowhere? Maybe she just wanted to be alone for a while. I do that. That's not like her. You're not the loner type? Well, I guess in a way she is, but... In a way? <laughs> hey, what do you think of that Steven guy? I think he's a weirdo. Yeah, he ain't all there, right? Oh, I wonder why John chose him. I don't know. I guess every family needs their nut job. <laughs> what was that? Looked like a pheasant. Like a bird? <laughs> yeah, <is> like <laughs> a bird. That was really scary. I see where you're coming from, a little bit. But I still do not agree with you on suicide. Are you afraid of it? You think it's cowardly? It's not what I think, it's a sin. <laughs> a sin. Religion. Why does everybody always have to bring it back to religion? It has nothing to do with religion. It has everything to do with religion. The church says it's a sin because they don't want you to have control over your own life. They don't want you to have control over your own body. But there is nothing more exhilarating than bringing yourself to the brink of death. You should try it sometime. That is the dumbest thing ever. This conversation is so stupid. I'm going to take a nap. Uh, wake me up when the food's ready. OK. Do you like music? Of course I like music. It's pretty out here. Cold, <laughs> but really nice. If it was up to me, I would never leave. You know, this is, um, this is really the first time I've ever been camping. Yeah? How do you like it? Um, boring. Come on, <laughs> let's go. You hit me! You tried to stick your lizard tongue down my throat! You didn't have to hit me! Yeah, well, maybe you should have thought of that before you tried to kiss me. You are so frigid. Just when I think you might be okay, you go and you prove me wrong. Don't walk away from me. Is there something wrong with you? Let's keep dancing. I don't want to. Yes, you do. Dancing is good for the soul. You might consider getting professional help. Then help me. Help me. No! 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 Let her go. I think I made myself clear when I said we'd have to work together in a spirit of solidarity. I just got a little carried away. The music and everything. Mm -hmm. Apologize. What is this, grammar school? Steven. Apologize. I'm sorry. You should be. I don't see why you had to get involved. We were just dancing. Steven. I want you to turn the spit now. All right. 
You're the man in charge. Tell me, John, you must have some serious convictions about this crazy world we live in. What do you know about the moon god? So how long you wanted to be a vet? Ever since I was a little girl. It's pretty much all I've ever wanted to do. That's cool. I used to want to be a taxidermist. That's really gross. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, can I tell you something? Yeah. I think you're going to make a really great vet. You really think so? I know so. What are you going to do with your 10,000? Buy a little piece of land, live off it. That sounds really nice. Yeah. I'm just trying to live the best life I can. I had this thing happen once and made me realize. What happened? Nah, I, I mean, it's not important. Well, then just tell me. Promise you won't judge me? Cross my heart. I was a teenager. I was 16. I had two best friends and we always used to get bummed to buy beer for us. One night we decided to try vodka, got real drunk. Ralphie was driving and we hit this kid and killed him. He was just crossing the street, you know? But Ralphie didn't see him. I feel, I, it's like I think about that kid every day. But it wasn't your fault. I was in the car. I, I was the one that got the bump to buy us the vodka. Yeah, but you weren't driving. It's like that image of him laying there in the street. His body all mangled up. I will never forget that lonely look in his eye as he was laying there dying. He was crying and he kept making us promise not to leave him. Like, they sent Ralphie to a lockup boys camp. The rest of us got probation. That camp ruined him when he got out. He started robbing banks now. He's doing life in a federal prison. <laughs> My dad used to rob banks. Really? Yeah. He was a real creep. <laughs> he, uh, he left my mom when she was pregnant with me. Now he's dead. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. It's weird. You know, in a way, I hate him. He's the whole reason I hate guns so much. But in another way, you know, he's my dad. I just, I kinda, I guess I wish I would have had a chance to meet him before he died. Do you think my boobs are too small? No. Don't you like really big ones? You seem perfect. Oh, I'm, I'm planning on using the money I make here to get a boob job. I, I think they seem fine. Will you look at them. Okay.
feel like that. I sure do. Any sign of Sarah? Oh, she didn't show up here yet? She's been gone for hours. I really think that we should all go look for her. After dinner, we'll all look for her. No, she could be lost or hurt or something. I think we should form a search party. Well, I'm gonna go look for her right now. I have a bad feeling about this. Mia, when's dinner ready? Uh, about two hours. Okay, let's take the next couple hours and go look for Sarah. Here we go. Come on. Carlos! What the hell do you want? coming in to wake you up. Are you sure that's all you wanted there, stud? You wish, man. No, you wish. I'm clear about my sexuality. Whatever. Is dinner ready? No, come on. We're going to look for Sarah. Is that why you woke my ass up to look for Sarah? Yeah, it is, you selfish bastard. Let's go. Come on. You know, I love it when you talk dirty to me, deer killer. Come on, get your stupid ass up. We need your help. Sarah is not here. Did you hear me? Let's okay, go. Okay, okay, okay. God, how's the fire? We're waiting. I'm going. Jesus Christ. Okay, check your flashlights. Make sure they're working. Here are some whistles. If you get in trouble, blow the whistle. You can be tracked by the sound. Okay, Kitty, you're gonna be with Calvin. Carlos, Stephen. Mia, you with me. Did you ever think about having kids? Um. Well, I'm not asking you to father my children. No. <laughs> Do you want to have a boy or a girl? A boy, I think. Well, I want a boy and a girl. <laughs> I am so glad. That I met you. <laughs> no, 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 not right now. We have to go find Sarah. You know what? You're totally right. <laughs> Sarah! You think there's bears out here? Yes. Really? Of course. Hey, let me have that flashlight, man. No. I don't like the woods. Didn't you tell Priscilla you were a big strapping country boy? Yeah, but that's farm country, man. It's not like shit with bears. Are you afraid? No. You're afraid? No, I'm not. Shut up. Scaredy cat? I'm not a scaredy cat. Hey, how do you say fear in Spanish? You, man, you little twerp. What? That's not funny. <laughs> just, I'm not scared, all right? I'm just a little cautious. used to believe that you could improve anybody's lot in life. But the truth is, most people aren't able to change. You know, some people just have a negative outlook. They choose to be unhappy. No matter what you do for them, they always view themselves as a victim. Well, now, I understand that part of human nature is to complain, but not all the time. My aunt was like that. Oh, she complained all the time. Thank God I got away from my family. You know, the fact is, just because you're related to somebody doesn't mean you have to want them around. Mia? Yes, John? May I please be quiet? I'm sorry, was I talking too much? Yes. Oh, well, I like it when we can just be together and not talk. Mm -hmm. Let's try that, shall we? Okay, John. Sarah! Sarah! So you happy now that you got the flashlight? Feel like you're in control? What is wrong with you, man? Is it like holding a microphone, comedian? You you stop egging me on, man! What is the matter with you? I'm sorry, all right? Just, look, let's just get along. Carlos, okay? you're my best friend, man. So did you and Priscilla have sex? 
Dude, that is none of your business. I saw the way she was looking at your hot body. <laughs> uh, are you are you gay? No. I mean, you can say, you can tell me right now. There's nobody around. Are you homophobic? Are you gay? Are you homophobic now? Is there anything you're not afraid of? Oh my Carl? god! What was that? Oh my god! Holy! Come on, come on. Something happened. Let's go. We're gonna get her out of here, baby, don't worry. We're all gonna get out of here. I bet Priscilla's dead too. You know, Calvin, you were the only one that ever had that crossbow. Yeah, what are you trying to say? He's stating a fact. Well, I didn't kill her. We have to get her back to camp so the animals don't prey on her body. We have to call for help. I'll call the police as soon as we're back. Carlos? Yeah? You and Steven, get her back to camp. I have a bad back. I need your help, buddy. Don't touch me. You don't think. Just stay away from me. I'm going to take it off the spit. Leave it. Uh, I think there might be some meat left on the inside. How can you think about eating right now? We need nourishment. I can't believe that Sarah's dead. Still nothing? Nope. You killed her, didn't you? No, I didn't. the police yet? I can't get a signal. The cell site must be down. How you doing, Kitty? My, my best friend is dead. Unfortunately, there has been an accident. Female subject has been killed with arrows. The subjects have been fearful, but are still orderly. This is tragic, and the police should be here shortly. doing over there where's the crossbow it's in the tent call us we get it we're exactly in the tent next to my sleeping bag It's not in there. I don't know. It was in the tent. You killed her! Why did you kill her? Why did you do that? Stay calm, Kitty. OK. Sarah has just been shot dead. By Mr. Gear Killer here, who has conveniently misplaced the crossbow. And we're all supposed to fucking relax? Can I please complete the ceremony on Shut her that body? stupid ceremony up your ass! That was completely disrespectful. Calvin, what did you do with the crossbow? You guys are crazy. I didn't kill Sarah, but I'm not planning on sticking around to be killed by whoever it was who did kill her. I'm getting out of here. Oh, no, you ain't going anywhere, buddy. Who's gonna stop me? Sit down. F you. I'm out of here. Kitty, my flashlight back. The rope. Okay. Yeah.
Oh, I can't believe he did it. Can you please put the gun away? No, we can't take any chances with the guy. He's gone over the edge. Untie me, mother. I'll show you over the edge. Unfortunately, Calvin has made the gun necessary. You guys have lost your minds. We're gonna keep you here till the cops show up. Are you getting a signal? Oh, no. You guys don't get it. I didn't kill Sarah, but there's someone out here who did. You need my help. You think you're something, don't you? Huh? Whoa! That's enough, Carlos. Ah, oh. oh, son of a. Okay, we should try to get some sleep. Can you please try the police? Again? I just did. Can I try? Be my guest. I still can't get a signal, and the battery's low. I have another battery. Oh, what good is that gonna do if we can't get a signal? You got a point? How are we gonna sleep? I'll have the guys take turns standing and watch, okay with you? Yeah, yeah. we okay. should really get some sleep. Okay, Carlos, you take the first shift, and a couple hours wake up Steven, all right? Got it, can I have a gun? Do you know how to use it? Yeah, give me a break. It's Steven, a can I use a gun? Yeah. We don't need the gun. Of course we do. Have you got your whistle? Yeah. If you need me, use it. All right, good. All right, cool. buddy. Cool. What about Calvin? Mia, you and Kitty go check on Calvin. In fact, bring him some coffee. Okay. I don't feel well. I feel weak. My stomach's in really bad shape. I'm not used to having my moon rituals interrupted. Maybe I need to kick your full moon ass. Oh. Another bad joke from the court jester. Oh! Hey, Calvin. That's weird. What's this blanket doing? There is an evil amongst us. God. Go back to the tent, Mark. Hey. Try the phone again? I put in a new battery. Still no reception. I'm gonna have to make a trip myself. We have to get help. No, let me do it. No. You don't know you were out of here. I'm responsible. I'll make the trip. Look, I know you're in charge and everything. And I don't mean you any disrespect. But I've run marathons, man. I know I can make it. You run marathons? Yeah. Physiologically, you're the best candidate. OK. I'll align the trip for you. Let's go to the hunter shed, girls. My uh, maps are there. Come All on, right. let's go, girls. Hey, Steven, let's go. I'm really sick. Can I stay behind? Steven, it's not safe if we split up. My stomach is killing me. I have some kind of bug or something. OK, don't leave the area. I don't feel good about it. Point of destination. Here we go. Carlos. You uh, think you're really up to this? Well, it's our only chance, right? 
We still getting paid? Yeah, <laughs> I'll pay you. I'll pay all of you just as soon as we're out of here. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thank you for stepping up. You really think you can make it, Carlos? Yeah, I got this. I can, I can make it. Make sure you follow those landmarks outlined on the map. Say a prayer for me, guys. We will. Okay. You'll see me soon, okay? Okay? Bye, Carlos. He is so likable. You think he'll make it? Oh, I hope so. I have infinite faith in Carlos. I'm so hungry. I've got some canned goods left. Oh, you're holding out on us? I told you I had those. Hey, girls, go ahead. Mother Nature calls. Be dark soon. Yeah. Hey, ladies. Okay, we'll all be safe as long as we stick together. I'm really worried about Carlos. Kitty, have some faith in him. He's fine. If people can walk across the North Pole, he'll be fine here. It's a funeral pyre. Oh, little buddy, you lost your mind. Actually, I think I'm the only sane person here. Why do you want to burn their body? We have to appease the moon god. Stephen, back away. <gasps> You've really made a mess of your little experiment, professor. Look at all the people who've died. How could you let that happen? It is not his fault. It's all his fault. Stephen, get it together. Stop. Stop telling me what to do. Your experiment's over. John, you failed. You're not as smart as you think you are. Your ignorance is what's caused all this. You're a stupid, ignorant fool. And people like you need to be stopped. Oh, oh. Huh. Oh, stop my... it! Ah, you're breaking my arm. You're... Oh, you broke my wrist! It's not broken. Ah, can you guys just stop fighting for a second, please? Steven, you need to respect John, okay? Not enough of your moon god Shut up! Do you want the rest? No. You eat it. You need the nourishment. I don't have an appetite. Mm. Oh. Ah. Oh, what the hell is he doing now? Right there. I'm not afraid of you! Huh? Huh? Ah! Oh! <laughs> An unavoidable tragedy happened this evening that resulted in Stephen's death.
Ladies, is it safe for me to come in? Sure. Will you stay in here with us tonight? If you need me to, of course. Yeah, after what we've been through today, we need you to stay in here with us. Okay. Kitty, you okay? Would you like a Xanax? It'll help you sleep better. No. is going to make an extraordinary story. Mm. Mm. Extraordinary is what you'd call it. Mm. Mm. We could be partners in the story. Mm. Mm. We'll be the head of all the talk shows. Talk shows? Mm -hmm. This experience has made us much closer. Don't you think? Mm. I haven't really thought about it. I guess so. I want you, John. John?
Welcome back, kitty. Remember truth poker? Remember when you admitted that your worst fear was being buried alive? <laughs> well, we must not identify too much with our worst fears, for they will manifest themselves into reality. This is science. Let's see if it really is that scary. <laughs> oh. Recognizing the vital nature of this work and its urgency, I decided to finance the experiment myself. <laughs> Unorthodox as that may be, my results speak for themselves. I felt that this was a must in terms of the evolution of sociology and the overall advancement of science. My hypothesis has been proven. A man with sufficient education, intelligence, and personal strength can survive and prosper in the most adverse condition without the assistance of any outside human agency. In other words, man in his highest form can live in complete solitude. How could you kill all of these people, innocent people? How dare you interrupt my presentation? What are you talking about? I am being recognized and awarded for my genius. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. One moment, please. You pathetic, uneducated, worthless piece of human waste. 
You are destined to become less than nothing. You have no authority anywhere, and the right to judge. <laughs> Your guns down. We ain't gonna hurt you, girl. What you doing way up here? Put down your guns or I'll shoot you. Whoa, lady, we're just out here hunting. What happened to you, girl? You okay? <laughs> he killed everybody. <laughs> he killed them. He killed them, everybody. He killed them all. Who killed you? <laughs> <laughs> we have new details in our continuing coverage of the Pineville mass murders. We now know the name of the only survivor who Brown County authorities are identifying as 23-year-old Twin Falls resident Kitty Landro. St. Vincent's officials say Landro was treated and released for minor injuries and hypothermia. It's going to be very difficult for you to live alone. I'll survive. But I'll be alone. Well, I'll come visit. I'm not moving all that far away. That's true, but can you bring me lunch today? No. No. You're going to have to get your lunch on your own. Mm-hmm. Everything's going to be OK. Yeah. <clears throat> I love you. Syringe, please. Okay. Thank you. How do you like working here so far? I love it. I want you to know that even though it's been a short time since you've been here, you're doing a really fantastic job. Thank you. Kitty Landro, you have a phone call line, too. Go ahead. Hello, this is Kitty. Kitty, this is your father, Leon. My father's dead. Who is this? Let me explain. First of all, obviously I'm not dead. I'm in prison. I saw you on TV, on the news. That was months ago. I sent you letters, but they were all returned. But, but I thought you were dead all these years. I know that's what your mother told you. 
I'm up for parole in 16 years. I'd like you to come and visit me, but if you don't, I'll understand. Hello. Congratulations, Kitty. Who is this? You have done well by any standard. I ever loved 